Then Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi came out to us one night in the last tent. And Rasulullah sallallahu said, I saw this dream where I was doing sujood in ma and teen, in water and mud. So it was a rainy night and it's a sign of Laylatul Qadr. So the Prophet ﷺ said, so whoever amongst you is doing i'tikaf, come back to the masjid. So Abu Sa'id radiallahu anhu said, all of us that were with the Prophet ﷺ in the middle tonight, we quickly came back to the masjid to continue our i'tikaf. And he said, we looked at the sky and there was not a cloud in the sky. So it was a clear night. So the assumption is maybe this is a night to come ahead. Then he said, we all gathered back in the masjid to do i'tikaf. And he said, suddenly this cloud came right over, subhanAllah, completely clear sky, calm night. There was no rain whatsoever. And this cloud came right over us and it started to rain. So we started to pray. And the Prophet ﷺ was leading them in prayer. The salah of the Prophet ﷺ was long and beautiful. And he said, and I remember the Prophet ﷺ's face was covered in mud. SubhanAllah. So exactly as the dream that he had seen, alayhi salat was salam. What night was this, by the way? It was the 23rd night. It's actually one of the strongest evidences for the scholars that say that we don't know that's the 27th night. It rotates amongst the last 10 nights and that was the 23rd night. Now, what are some of the signs of Laylatul Qadr? The Prophet ﷺ says, Laylatul Qadri, Laylatul Samha. Laylatul Qadr is a soft night, it's a gentle night. La harra wa la barida. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's a very cool night, it's a very comforting night. Tusbihu shamsu sabihataha da'ifatan hamra. The sun rises that day, da'ifa hamra. It's, it's weak, meaning it doesn't have rays and it's, it's a reddish complexion, it's a reddish color. So you find every year in Ramadan, people taking pictures of the sun and trying to post them. Now here's the question. Was that a sign for that particular year? Like the year where the Prophet ﷺ had mud on his face. It rained a lot that night or was that, uh, or is that a general sign? Al-Qadi Ayyad, he says there's two possibilities. One of them is that that's a distinctive sign that Allah Azawajal has given for Laylatul Qadr. And the second one, which he said is very beautiful. He says that the amount of angels that come down on Laylatul Qadr take away the rays of the sun. <laughs> so SubhanAllah, even if a lot of people were praying Qiyamul Layl on a night, the amount of Malaika that were descending on the earth, their wings, the, the light of their creation, dulls the light of the sun altogether. So Allahu Alam, this seems to be a sign of Laylatul Qadr every year. So looking at the sun and seeing if it's rayless, it's good. However, let's say that you catch it on the 22nd, you know, or 23rd night, someone posts a picture and you slept through that entire night and the sun looked absolutely rayless. Should you just say, Oh well, maybe next Ramadan? No, iltamisuha fi akhiri layla. Remember the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Seek it until the very last night. Because imagine how bad you'd feel if another picture came out <laughs> later on in the, in the month. And guess what? It looked, it looked rayless as well, or it looked even more rayless if that's even possible, right? So the point is, Allah left it mysterious to keep you on your toes. And the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last part of the night, as is the best part of every night. So the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last third of the night, as well as the Prophet ﷺ says that there is an hour of the night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He gives you the tawfiq, if He gives you the success to be able to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that part of the night, that He would certainly give you the, whatever you asked Him of this dunya and the akhirah. There's nothing you could ask Allah at that point of the night, from this world or the hereafter, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give it to you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to catch Laylatul Qadr.